Hello and welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 349. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and uh, I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm playing solo again, and the reason is why is that somehow I'm preoccupied. Like, I'm busy to a point where it's hard for me to get people on, and I have to record on my own. And you know what? It's not that bad. I noticed that with the shorter news episode, it takes a shorter time for you guys at home who are listening to this now, a much shorter time to digest all of this. And in all honesty, the news is not that much anymore since the hiatus and whatnot. But surprisingly enough, today we have five news to cover, and that's cool. Anyway, let's go into the news. In the first news, we have Revorce again. The guys that made the My Little Pony tabletop fantasy story thing. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the Tales of Equestria, yes. So anywho, they're at it again. And uh, this time is the digital version of things. And they have their two adventures going digital. And that's the, what you call this, uh, Festival of Light and the Curse of the Statuettes. So that's awesome. And this is what we really wanted from... Uh, the very beginning, a physical version and a digital version. And if you guys remember, the last time we talked about this was last week. And this is kind of cool. Uh, Now we have the expansion on digital form and we can enjoy them. We can lug around. (laughs) We don't need to lug around books anymore. So we can just bring our phones slash tablets or whatever it is and we can just buy them. As for now, uh, it seems that you can buy them on uh, River Horse's website. Uh, the Curse of the Statuettes is going to be at £13. And the Festival of Light is going to be at £13. Uh, the core book, you can also buy it on River Horse's website. It's going to be £20. So that's cool. So if you guys do play the RPG, go ahead. It's going to be a lot of fun. And... Let's head into the second news. And second news is a lot of fun. I love this one. I, I really like this one. And reason is, it's all about food. Yay! So, uh, we recently had a few countries giving us pony foods or pony team foods. And that's Singapore and Japan. Now, joining in the fray will be Hong Kong. And a restaurant in Hong Kong is serving up uh, pony team dean sums and we're not 100 percent sure where this is at but there's a video on the website where you can just take a look see at their selection of foods um, if you do like the dim sum it's there and i really don't want to play the video right now you know what let me see what i can do here if it's a youtube no it's a facebook oh well um okay this so only video, so can't really comment on it much. But anyway, um, oh no, don't play the video. All right, <laughs> sorry. Um, basic video from what I can tell is that the store is called in some representative. This is directly translated from the Facebook page. I'm not hundred percent sure how you call this. Uh, oh yeah, there's their store is called in some reps, <laughs> in some representative. So. There's some representative crossover with My Little Pony, and they have a few things here. But basic info as to where it is, um, address is going to be at Shop L3083, 100 Nathan Road, Sim Sai Tzu. I think that's how you say it. Um, operational hours is at 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And I guess that's it. Like If you are interested in going go ahead it's a lot of fun they have a lot of good foods there i wish i could go oh wow they have pony themed spring rolls oh that's so cool and dim sums wow you know what if you guys are ever in hong kong or able to go to hong kong give it a shot it looks like a lot of fun i'm very jelly on this very very jelly (laughs) so anywho let's hop on to the next news And we don't have to hop far because we're going to Singapore. And it seems that in Singapore, there's going to be an event uh, going to be called Toy Box. 
uh, powered by Hasbro. And as the name states, it's all going to be Hasbro related products from Transformers to Play Doh to Ponies to Monopoly and to Nerfs. So, event is going to be held at Palawan Green Sentosa from 1st to the 17th of November, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. But do note that they are going to be closed for maintenance on the 11th of February. So, yay! Uh, from what I can tell, there's going to be some live performance from the Transformers and Mr. Monopoly, Dragon Dance something, Seisho for Ponies, something like that. I wonder which kind of stage show they're going to do. Uh, and then there's going to be pony makeovers and stuff for free. But to play some of the games, you have to pay some cash. So uh, they call their, they call it credits. But in all honesty, it's just bucks. So for the pony things, um, it's magical moments at My Little Pony Rainbow Kingdom. Uh, from the blurb here, it says entry. Enter the whimsical space and become a member of Equestria. Create your own My Little Pony figure. Get a pony makeover with clip-on hair extension in the color of your favorite pony. And make your very own CUNY mark. Play credit required. Uh, create the studio is for $15. Include 3D figure and all craft materials. Makeover salon is about $10. Include hair extension, temporary tattoos and bracelets. So, yay! Much funsies. So, if you're not into that, there's the $18 one. And I think most of the guys would be interested in this. Uh, raise Adrenaline at Nerf Nation Challenge. Long story short, shoot Nerf at Target win prize. Yay! Uh, so, yeah, sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, they also have a bouncy castle. Yay! That's going to be fun if you're ever in the location here. Give it a shot. Who knows? You might have a lot of fun there. And let's head into the next news. And next news is, well, it's going to be a very surprising revelation. And it has to do with deleted contents. Yay! So, Cindy Tong, an animator for the My Little Pony movie, has released some animation reel for her, well, work to put online. So, people who are interested in her work could hire her and stuff. And some of the things that she released are from the My Little Pony movie. And at the few short seconds in the very beginning, we are introduced to a character that was not in the movie. And said character was introduced in the art book. So we get to see the character in motion and whatnot. And it was a lot of fun. Other than that, it's all part of her reel. Um, other than that, I can't say much because... The intro of the character was kind of cool. Um, he seems like a mad lunatic. Go online and check it out. And last on the news, way back in the days, there was this comic idea where you're going to have My Little Pony crossover with Transformers. It seems like a very fun idea, but nah, they didn't pull it off for whatever reason. It just wasn't meant to be. And, well, that kind of sucks because uh, from the blurb that I'm reading on EQD, um, I'm just going to read it verbatim from the illustrious Q. Since a certain My Little Pony cover was an exclusive cover for BotCon in 2013 for Micro Series Issue 5, rumors have been flying around a My Little Pony slash Transformers comic a My Little Pony slash Transformers crossover comic is being the works. The rumors often consisted of of which version of Transformers would team up with Friendship is Magic. Generation 1 was a particular favorite for reasons of nostalgia and various creative teams being pulled from both the MLP and Transformers comic line published by IDW. So uh, what this tells me that people are, or way back then, they've been planning for this and we didn't find any, uh, how do I put this, logical way or good way to um, add those two worlds together. But hey, um, the artist Andrew Graffiti, I'm guessing that's how you say his name, uh, he tweeted something and he, he even attached a picture and it says, here's some art I did for IDW a few years back for a project that just never came about. 
color by the vibrant at pr1 ps and oh my god it's just cool like you guys have to check this out links are in the show notes and it's ponies transformers together much funsies yay and well what can i say uh, i really love this this is a concept where i like it a lot where you have two of the popular ips combined together and hey didn't we get the gi joe transformers crossover that that sounded like fun right but anyway um it's a missed opportunity uh, and I do wonder how they're going to mix the two worlds together because one is hyper-violent, one is very childish, and those two worlds combined together is fanfic waiting to happen. But anywho, uh, I do like this. I do hope that somehow in the future we do get this crossover because ponies are much more hardcore. <laughs> so anywho, that's, this, that's the news. So let's move on to the next topic. And the topic is, what have I been doing with my week? And surprisingly, I do have some updates. I do have some things to talk about. And recently, IDW released their comics, um, the My Little Pony 2020, which is celebrating IDW's 20th anniversary of being in business. So yay. Uh, congratulations to them. And also issue 74, I'm guessing 74, I should check the news on this one, but no, uh, I'm guessing it's 74, because that was the recent comic that came out. But anywho, um, when it came out, I checked out um, Silver Quill's thing and saw images of it, or look at the news and whatnot, and says, oh wow, awesomeness, comic came out, and I should probably go check it out. And when I did that, I, for me personally, I usually buy my comics at Comixology. And when I clicked on it and tried to look for the comics, they were not there. The illustrious queue on EQD make things easy for people who want to buy the comic by having links to the places you can buy. Uh, for digital downloads, there's Comixology, iTunes, IDW, Digital Store, Amazon Kindle, and Google Play. So... When I click on Comixology, where I usually buy my comics, I have this error. It says, oops, the content you were looking for is currently not available. So I've been scratching my head around this and thought that, hey, uh, is there something wrong here? Like, what's going on? Like, why is this happening here and now? And wanting to read the comics, because for work and whatnot, so I can give you guys a good review, I couldn't. So I had to get the comics via IDW My Little Pony Comic app, which is available on my local Malaysia iTunes. And I did so. And yeah, I bought it. And it was okay. I, I didn't like the way it looks or feel because when reading the comics via Comixology, they have this motion thing going on for them where they will zoom in on the panel itself. And you can read it like that so you don't be spoiled with what's going on to the next page. But for the IDW My Little Pony comic app, it's not like that. Like, I think that's exclusive for Comixology, which is really awesome. But with the IDW comic app, they have it like a normal PDF kind of thing. And you have to zoom in and then you have to read it the old-fashioned way. And moving to the next page was... An, it was a real buggy experience i did not like it at all like i think reading the comic via the my little pony comic app made my experience reading the comic more negative like i did not enjoy reading it that way so after scratching my head about this like why is this happening and reading the qd comments on the page i'm not noticing anybody complaining about the issue that i'm having so a conclusion came into my head, which I did not enjoy the answer for it, is that, okay, let's try to use a VPN and see how it goes. Like, is it my country? And gosh darn it, it, it is. I had to use a VPN to buy the comics. And here's what I don't understand. Why? Why is this happening? 
obviously there's a few reasons to it but why now after years of b- buying comics from comicsology why do this now i'm not happy with this obviously i found a workaround but just imagine if you're a person who's not tech savvy you got no idea what a vpn is or what even a dns is and suddenly you're not getting your comics you're going to be really salty and pissed. I am. Like, I had to buy the comic twice. I am not happy. But still, my experience, my feelings about the comic, I will reread it again. So I will give a fair judgment to the comics. But as for now, like, oh man, the the change that they recently did with IDW about region locking specific things is not fun. It is not fun. But other than that, um, if you go check out my Instagram at instagram.com slash normansanzo, I posted up some new things. Like, <laughs> I recently ate at a, whatchamacallit, uh, dessert cafe called My Cory. And it's, this a Korean-style cafe or Korean-style dessert cafe where you're given things like shave ice and so on. And... Oh my god, it's heavenly. Like, this is the quote-unquote highlight of my day where I got to enjoy ice cream or shave ice, whatever you want to call it. And it was really fun and nice and stuff. So, other than that, nothing much to my list of stuff that I've been doing weekly. The one that just pops out to me is this the comic with the IDW thing that really grinds my gears and I just need someone to talk to about it. Like, probably when we do the review episode, I'll talk to Silver about it and just vent. <laughs> I just need someone to vent to. So, anywho. Okay, a second. I should have done this earlier. So, anyway, we reached the end. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitionsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and for me, it's at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and switch to radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyOverLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast, available on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you get to hear us review the Pony episodes, the Pony comics, and also movies. Sometimes we like to do some other things. And, well, you'll just have to see what we do next. It could be a movie, it could be a comic, it could be anything. Just stick around and listen. If you like this show, you can do so at patreon.com slash yes show. Much guys, you're great. I have been on the and I'm going to show. Yeah.